Good morning. Welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you dropped by. My name is Valerie Kime, in case any of you guys are new here. I'm finally getting back into a more vlog style video for you guys today. I just thought I have a couple things that I want to get done today, so I thought I'll do a vlog on them. Um, right now it is 10, a little after 10, I think. And so I want to try to get this stuff done this morning here because Chip and I are babysitting his two nephews for the night tonight and they're uh, coming in the afternoon sometimes. So I want to get my stuff done. I have to do laundry, make the bed, just general house cleanup stuff. But I also want to organize my kitchen cupboards and set up my espresso machine today. We're going to see what all we can get and I'll get into my espresso machine stuff later. But I'm going to take you guys along today and... I'm excited to do another vlog. Like it's been a while since I've done a vlog. I feel like it's been three weeks for sure. Four weeks actually. So that's the plan for today. I hope you enjoy and I will take you along. Gonna show you guys a little outfit of the day. So I think I've shown this sweater in a previous video. Um, this is from the thrift store, the men's section. <laughs> and I love it. This is from the Main Street Exchange and these I just wear around the house. They're like leg warmers. They're just big, long socks. Plus, my legs are so pale right now. <laughs> There's like no sun. It literally looks like that all day, every day. So, this is what I'm wearing around the house. And I honestly don't know where these socks are from. So, I can't link them or anything. I don't even know if you'd want me to link them. But I can't really. So I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys or talked about my bedding on here, maybe on Instagram, but I just recently got these sheets. They look a little bit pink on here, but they're actually like a, a light rust color. And I have loved them so much. My husband has loved them so much. They are from Home Goods. I will try to maybe link them, but if I can't, then just go look for them at Home Goods. <laughs> But yeah, just the other night, my husband was saying, man, I just love these sheets. They're warm, but they're also breathable. They're cotton, I believe. And yeah, we're just, we've just been really loving them. All right, fine. I guess it won't stay up. I don't think I've ever showed you guys my basement before because, I mean, you'll see why, but it is where my laundry room is at, which is very unhandy. I'm just doing some laundry. So I'll show you guys. It's not pretty. Let me just warn you literally looks like a dungeon so i always have to be so careful because there's no railing here there's my washer and dryer and all my clothes hanging on the clothesline this is our basement and i cannot wait for the day when i have my own nice laundry room upstairs but i also wanted to show you guys something I think I talked about this in one of my previous videos, but I am using Thieves right now. Young, uh, yeah, Young Living. I almost said lemongrass. Thieves laundry detergent, and I have loved it so much. I also got some dryer balls on Amazon, and I just put a few drops of lemon on those for the dryer, and it really cuts down on static and drying time. But this stuff smells so, so good. I'll try to link it. A couple people asked in my last video for me to link it. And yeah, because I forgot to put a link in my video. So we'll try to get that done. All right, now that we have our laundry started, our dishes done, the diffuser's going, the bed is made, all that stuff, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm actually wanting to do with my cabinets. Let me flip the camera here. All right, before I talk about anything though, I have to talk about this guy. My husband is the sweetest person in the whole world and got me this for Christmas. So I'm hoping to set it up today and get it going today in the vlog. And oh, look how beautiful she is, guys. I'm so excited about this. But anyway, the plan is to, I literally am gonna take everything out of these cupboards and reorganize. So this is what it's like right now. I wanna move the spices over here somewhere and put anything coffee related in this corner because that's where the espresso machine's gonna go. And then I have some stuff up there that I need to get rid of. And then also all of our health stuff that's down on here. We have some tinctures and some drink mix stuff. I want all of our health things to go like in here somewhere. So I should probably just get right into it because time is ticking.
This is officially the part in the process where I wonder what I have gotten myself into and why I'm even doing this. Because look at what my kitchen looks like right now. I can't believe all this stuff actually fit up in those three cupboards. And now I'm debating just taking all that stuff out too because I am really not utilizing my space very well. So I think I'm gonna just reorganize all of these because I kind of in the, am in the mood now. Interrupting your video here to show you my little collection of essential oils, young living things. Heidi, my upline, sent me a whole bunch of cute stuff with my um, starter kit because it was a Black Friday deal. So I got tons of rollers, some recipe cards, and coconut oil to make some um, roller blends. And I'm so excited to try some of that. Whoops. And I'm so excited to try some of that stuff because I would love to learn how to make more like roller blends and things like that and then I would love to be able to show you guys how I make my roller blends what I how I basically how I do all my young living essential oil stuff but I'm not like super knowledgeable about it yet to be able to just blab on and on about it so I just wanted to show you my cute little collection of stuff thanks to Heidi All right, to finish everything off with my organizing, I'm going to label each shelf with my trusty dusty label maker. Okay, I am finally finished going through my cabinets. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of what it looks like now. I know you guys kind of were able to see as I was doing it, but as soon as we're done with that, I'm gonna move on to my espresso machine and it's only 12 o'clock, so I'm doing pretty good, I would say, but I'll show you guys what I've done here. Okay, so in the first door, I labeled each shelf. Up here we have miscellaneous. Here's all my cooking stuff. And I just set that teacup there because I really didn't know where else to put it. All my cookbooks. And then down here is everything for espresso. My espresso blend, mugs, this thing. And yeah, anything that goes with my coffee stuff. And then the machine will go right underneath there. In the next door, we've got this whole section here is dedicated to health. So I have all things health right here because up in there, I should put a label right there, Young Living, and then the rest is my health stuff. I'm probably gonna put that up there real quick. In case you're wondering, this might look kind of odd. This is little tinctures that we take and they're so good for you. They have helped us so much. Um, it's just like, we actually take a lot of vitamin stuff now that I think about it. Then on this side, I have my spices. This rack, I, I had it before, but it never fit because the top was too high. So literally what I did was break the top and now it fits. So it saves so much space. So there's the spices and my label. And then up there is also some more miscellaneous items. So I'm so happy with how this turned out. I honestly can't believe that it turned out this great. Like if I look at all my cupboards now in a row, Look at it back there. It looks, you know, it looks so organized and I'm so excited with it. Seriously, look how cute this label is. I love this label maker because it looks like an old retro style typewriter. And I love how the O is like dropped and they're not all, <laughs> I love how they're not all straight. It just looks so stinking cute. And I know I've talked about the label maker before on here, but I will also link this below for you guys if you want to check it out. It's not expensive at all. Actually, it's kind of cheap but it does a great job and I have loved it so far. It's so adorable. Okay, I'm now moving on to the part that I feel the most nervous about, I guess. This espresso machine, I don't know how to use it. Like I've used this little guy for, that's little guy, for so long that I don't know how to use a big espresso machine. So I'm just gonna start setting it up and see how it goes. 
I purposefully did not drink any coffee this morning because I wanted to set this guy up and make my first coffee drink with it. So now I really have to get it set up because I really want some coffee. <laughs> oh, this is such a thick book of instructions. I'm hoping half of it is in another language because, oh wait, it is in another language. I'm so glad this whole last half of it is in another language. So really it's just this. That always makes me feel so much better. I know there's a lot of people out there who don't read directions and they just do it or whatever, but I have always been the type of person that reads directions. Oh, the sun is out. Look, we are finally seeing the sun. Maybe it'll stay out. I don't know. Fingers crossed. Okay, it is now one o'clock and I have been reading these directions for so long it feels like and I'm sick of it. I'm ready to just do something and I think it'll explain itself better once I just do something. So I turn the machine on and we're gonna make my very first ever espresso shot with my new espresso, ma espresso machine, espresso machine. So bear with me. <laughs> All right, so I overfilled the um, the basket, I think, and it didn't come out right. So I'm gonna have to try it again and not fill it as full, so, ugh. Okay, I think that one went a lot better. The pressure gauge looked like it was saying it should, so I don't know if it's good or not if I pulled a correct espresso shot or not. So I'm just gonna make a drink once and we're gonna taste it and see what it's like. Here goes nothing. Okay, so here is our latte. The latte art did not work out this time. I need to really perfect it on this thing. It was my first time using it. Give me some slack. We're gonna taste this. It might be completely awful. I don't know what this espresso shot tastes like, so I'm gonna just try it. Mm, it's really good. Oh my word. It took me forever to figure out how much coffee grounds pre-ground coffee to put in the filter basket <laughs> because their instructions were kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I need to do a little bit more research. If any of you guys use this machine, it's the Breville Barista Express. If any of you use it and you use pre-ground coffee, let me know like how much, I don't know how much coffee grounds goes into the filter basket. I did just like one level scoop, even though the directions said to do two level scoops, that was way too much. I did that and then it, pulled a terrible, bitter espresso, espresso shot. So that didn't work. So if you have any tips on this machine, leave them in the comments. I would love to know more because I'm personally going to be perfecting my performance on this thing. So, but I must say, this is a very, very good latte. I was not expecting a whole lot. This is the aftermath of me trying to figure things out. Also, to any of you out there who have this machine, do you use the filter, um, like do you put the water filter in there? Our water, um, when we moved in here, we got it inspected and the guy said it is perfect. It's some of the best water he's ever seen. So I was like, I don't know that I need a filter. Our water is perfectly fine, but maybe I don't know something. Maybe the machine actually works better with the filter. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments. Before I wrap up my vlog, um, I had one other question about my espresso machine. So, also, if you guys know, or if you haven't already been able to tell, the grinder does not fit underneath my cabinet. And I was wondering, and I could look this up too, but is it okay to use the espresso machine without the grinder on top? I know like if it's not locked into place, it blinks until it's locked. And I was like, is it okay to run the machine without it being on there? Should I just pull it out every time? And can it run without that or not? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna probably end the vlog here. I know it's only like 1.30 and it feels weird to be ending a vlog right here, but 
We need to leave in a couple hours. We're taking someone to the airport tonight. I don't know if I said that or not, but, um, and I have to finish my laundry and I, I'm just ready to sit down for a little bit. I've been go, go, go this entire morning. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. It has felt good to get back into a vlog. Also, I wanted to mention after last week, my video last week, I'll link it um, up here, but it was kind of scary for me to do that video just because it was kind of vulnerable and stuff like that. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for, I had like an overwhelming um, amount of messages coming in. I just wanted to thank you guys for understanding and for your support. I had so many messages coming in. Like people took the time to actually message me separate from YouTube and encourage me and it was just so good for me. Thank you guys for showing the support that you did last week after I posted my video. If you didn't see it, go check it out. I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the day before we have to leave anyway, sipping my coffee, folding laundry. I might clean my old espresso machine because I'm gonna have to get rid of that one. So thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me and I love you guys so much and I hope you have a great Wednesday, a great rest of your week and cheers to 2021. Bye.